guys, I just want to share with you a little envelope journal that I've quickly rustled together with a few texture examples. So I've been playing around with literally making some tags from different types of products. I've looked in my storeroom cupboards and I have found things like spaghetti, pudding rice, and some sesame seeds. Got out my pot of Mod Podge gloss. Got some tea bags, some dried tea bags, and a load of coffee stained little tags. Then I purchased just some plain standard journaling tags or labels and just polished it all off by putting a couple of envelopes, five envelopes together, like so, just to make a little journal and just glued those down and so it's really quite very simple. And on the front you see a hessian little flower, a large tea bag with a bit of stamping on, a little postcard which I've just put written texture examples, dated it, Got this little stamp in my collection and I stamped it up some time back and then coloured it in with this little teacup and saucer. And inside we've got this little mixed media tag. And this has got construction tape on there, washi tape, a little bit of a, um, a rubbing from a piece of jewellery on this music paper and just done some colouring with some pencils. So this is a textured tag. I've had it in my collection for a while. It has had no home, so it's now inside this front of this little journal. And that just tucks in neatly into the tea bag. And then you can take the little flap. And this is a family size tea bag. It just flaps behind the hessian sack there, the little flower. Right. As I said, these envelopes were already in my collection. All I had to do was literally glue them together. They'd already been coffee stained. I'm going to move the spaghetti away. And what I've done is the inspiration has come literally from looking at my daughter's A3 sketchbook. And that'll be the one if you looked in my description or into my videos, you would see it's got this rather large pepper on the front. And so working with some of the texture that she's got in the back of the book, I felt that I could also have a play around myself. So as I said, so this is the original tag which I've glued into this book. And then we've got the tag which has literally just been covered. We're using the Mod Podge and tea bags, which I've just torn and just glued down and I've just got a little bit of some papers here just to add some interest but I wanted to share with you the two different contrasts I've written down what I've done and what I've used so these gives a little rundown of spaghetti, a glue gun, plastering moulding roll and sesame seed on this uh, book card and then just explained where I've got the inspiration from and this has been glued down and I've just written, just journaled a bit of information. Let's get inside and share what I've done. So you can see the luster that the Mod Podge, this glossy, does. And what I've done is done an example with little pieces of spaghetti. And what I realised is that if I was going to place this in a journal, Inevitably, over a period of time, these items are not attached in any other shape and form bar glue. So I needed something, if I was going to put them in a journal, that would make sure that they weren't going to come loose. I had these tea bags, I had all these dried tea bags from other projects to hand, and that's what I've done. I've laid over to give, I like a vintage appeal, I am that way inclined. So as you can see, you can see the texture that the spaghetti has given and you can also see the texture here that the rice pudding 
has done. So it's got a lot of a raised edge. Now I could obviously highlight this a little bit more using distress inks or maybe some pastels, but for the moment I've left it literally working alongside just the tea bags. Now I also had in the collection was some, I used a glue gun to make a heart and it was Valentine's at the time and it was like an unfinished project and this was just made randomly, it wasn't glued on to anything so I wanted to experiment and see if I could then attach it to these tags which I have, so this is the original tag with the original glue gun and then I've taken out my spray can just for convenience because it was so much quicker to spray than it was to actually use acrylic paint and you can see here this is just a large proportion of glue and on this one I was trying to think more of a tree they're like this is the tree trunk going up and this is the wind blowing and this is just my interpretation Yet again, I could apply Rubbing Buff is another product which could raise and cause a little bit of coloration on the ridges here. And then maybe I could actually add some words to go onto this tag. But I've just literally put my examples in and a little bit more glue there. And I've just got a bit of glitzy embellishment there just to add a little bit of interest. Now I used some plaster moulding roll and it was just a matter of seeing what this would come out like. So here is the original and again this is this one and this has just got a few layers of tea bag on it. I'm not necessarily saying that this is the way that I interpreted it for a future use. I might not wish to cover the entire tag with the plaster moulding roll. But it was really, as again, this is something, a, a resource book that I can look back at and think I can literally pick and choose examples and put this into further work. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we've got some sesame seeds. And then yet again, I don't personally think that the sesame seeds was a great success not after applying the tea bag. It hasn't necessarily got as much in the way of ridges and texture. But, yet again, it's been tried, it's been tested, and now I can put that in down as a note or point to note. I wouldn't necessarily do it again. But I do like the finish with the sesame seeds. Ideally, if I had had them in, in my storeroom cupboard, I'd have liked to have used poppy seeds and that would be something else for further exp you know, exploration and give that a trial in the future. And just on the back here I've just literally just got a fun little picture that I've taken from a magazine just to add a little bit of quirkiness and interest. So guys that is just a little texture example book and what I have been currently doing over the last couple of days. Hope to catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.